is, it's me. Hey, are you at work yet? Oh, God, it's Tony there. Uh, well, do you know when he'll be in? I just want a word, that's all. Can you find out for me? I I've got to go. Mum, I don't think Sean likes me anymore. Of course she does. Because, right, the other day at dinner we were talking and that and then she just walked off and went off with Alicia and then... I wish I wouldn't read at the table, Kevin. It's the height of bad manners. Ooh, I can I still took it. No, all I'm saying is occasionally it'd be very nice to have a conversation over our breakfast. Oh, look at the state of it. Oh, my God. What? I don't look that bad. What have you done? Oh, Rosie! What a slapper. Oi! First you're plastering yeah. yourself all over Facebook or whatever it is, and now this. My biggest fear was that John State would make me a slave. Oh, for goodness sake, you made a total show of yourself. This makes a mockery of everything. We was worried sick about you. Anything could have happened. You could have been dead for all we knew. Yeah, well, I wasn't. Did you get paid for this? Of course I did. How do you think I've been paid for these nights out? I'm ashamed of you. Oh, right, that's it. I'm going back to bed. Tell Carla I've got flu, will you? Hey, no, I will not. You can do your own dirty work. Rosie, get down here. Kevin, tell her. I don't want to even look at her. Of course, Oldham has one of the best strap lines ever invented. Strap lines? Mm. You know, I get those when my uh, underwear's... Too tight. Oh, well, you, you probably call them slogans, but for those of us in the know, they're strap lines. Oh, fancy that. <sighs> Oldham, home of the tubular bandage. Do you know, I've got one of those in my sewing basket. Oh. It's been there since 1963. What if it's retained its uh, elasticity? Home of the tubular bandage. It's just brilliant. And nowhere else in the world could make a claim like that. Emily. Oh. Emily. <laughs> um, I've been thinking about what you were saying yesterday. Oh, yes. You know, about Jed going missing. Well, I said he'd gone on his travels, not that he'd gone missing. Honestly, that man is utterly feckless. Oh, Norris. Well, he is. The cap says it all. I mean, it, it might have been Derriger in the 60s with your beatniks and what have you, but now, well, it's nothing more than a pathetic affectation. Look, I think you should call the police. We've been through all this. We've no reason to believe that anything untoward has happened. Uh, he had money in his pocket. Doesn't need his so-called friends anymore. Am I the only one who thinks it's a massive coincidence, this? He has this ongoing argument with Tony. Says that he's going to go and confront him. And then, next thing you know, he's gone. Disappeared, never seen again. Surely you're not implying that Mr. Gordon has anything to do with this? Well, it's totally obvious, isn't it? I've known Jed Stone for years on and off. And he's always been, what's the best way of putting it, a free spirit. In other words, totally selfish? Didn't either of you care what's happened to him? He, he's a grown man. He packed his belongings and left. You really can't go around making these accusations. You'll be in very serious trouble if Mr Gordon finds out what... Too right he's going to find out. Because I'm going to go and tell him to his face. It's in the state of that window. Eh? The bird's gone under a great big dollop all over it. Better go and give it a good scrub. Nice way to start the day. Mm. Keep me busy. Still not heard from my dad? Not a word. You? Sometimes it gets like this. He'll be back once he's got his head together. He did his disappearing act at Christmas. I'm beginning to wonder if it's me. No, he used to do it to her mum as well. Drove her mental. But she kind of learnt to let him get on with it. He always comes back. You know, if I'd been accused of stealing, I'd stick around, face the music, prove everybody wrong. But as he's not here to stand up for himself... Davy's definitely going to the police, you know. Good. At least that'll get my dad off the hook. Them lot next door won't like it, though, will they? There'll be nothing but trouble since they got here. Honestly, they make me blood boil. Sorry. No good ranting on at you, is there? I'll go take my frustrations out in the window. Mm. Make sure you don't rub a hole in it. Dad, I'd wish you'd pick up. Gail's really worried about you. You seen Tony? 
This car's not here, no? Yeah, that's what I thought. Once I'd not cold step too long if I was you, you get piles. Oh, if Tyrone gets back, will you tell him just nipped up and put the bins out? Be five minutes. Right. Don't be mad with me. Why would I be mad? I need to speak to Tony. It's about Jed Stone. Oh. Fizz, don't you see? This is the proof that I've been waiting for. Well, sorry, but you're wasting your time. Tony's gone to a trade fair in London. Oh. Yeah, Julie just told me he's not going to be back till tomorrow. And you at work today. I can't stand listening to people droning on about the telly and where they're going for their holidays. Mm. Why don't you go home? No, no. Well, you can't be hanging around out here, not after last time. What if Carla sees you? She might phone the police or something. You don't want any more trouble. Come on. Hey up, you can come and clean mine when you're done. So where's your fella then? Bet you're glad to see the back of him, aren't you? Eddie said he saw the pair of you kicking off in the Rovers. Bit of a bad lad on the quiet, eh? <laughs> Excuse me. Your men are the ones causing all the trouble. You are? Well, think about it. You're Gary and Len, seen outside Bill's yard. Next thing, a load of copper piping goes missing. No, you just hang on a minute. Not for coincidence, don't you think? Prove it! You can't go round blaming my lot willy-nilly. Don't have to. David's going to the police today. Let them sort it out. All right, if I park my backside here. Ah, feel free. Hey, all right. What time's Peter due back? Only I thought I'd just bob a few basics round to his flat, you know, a loaf of bread, fresh milk, put a few freesias in a vase. Yeah, well, I've managed to get a hold of him. They haven't had no joy either. I think I'll give Adam a call, see if he can shed any light. No sign of laughing boy yet. I'll take it you mean, Joe. He'll be out spending his ill-gotten gains of flint and beef. Hey, come on, Eddie. It's not for us to be judge and jury. What is it to say? Means, motive, opportunity. He's the only one who had all three, so I'll leave it at that. Does anyone want these? What's that? Rabbit droppings? The currents are on me, Eccles cake. I can't stand them. Horrible little beggars. You're all right, lad. Stick him in your pocket, take him home for Chesney. So you've been doing your wrist strengthening exercises then? Come again. For the darts team. We've got Jason, Lloyd, Kevin, Ashley and your good self. The man down. Well, I'm dead handy with the arrows. I've watched about a thousand episodes of Bullseye. Yeah, well, you can't beat a bit of bully. Too right. He was the master. Oh, well, all that remains then is for you to cough up your subs. It's 20 quid and tenner for your team t shirt. All right. 30 quid, there you go. Welcome aboard, lad. Hey, I'm in demand today, me. I'll see you then. Smashing super great. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Ken. Go on. Uh, Adam saw him a couple of days ago. I had to drag it out of him, but he told me Peter's in a bad way. He's not drinking again. I'm afraid so. Why don't you go and listen to that tape I bought you? The one with the sounds of the sea on it? It'll calm your nerves. No, it just makes me want to wee all the time, that. Mm. Oh, Fizz, I don't care who that is. Tell him to go away. I, uh, I got your text, what's up? It's Maria, she's stressed up to the eyeballs again. Oh, that poor little baby's gonna come out as mad as a box of frogs. Uh, look, I've got to get back to work. Oh, you know me. I never know what to say when she's upset and that. Just sit with her, keep her company. Hi, sis. I don't need babysitting. It's just at a bit of a loose end, aren't you, Kirk? Is it okay for stick filling fern on? They're doing this recipe with chicken thighs. They're not on for ages yet. I know, um, I'll get myself a good speck. Look, Maria, I've got to go. I'll pop in later. You take it easy, yeah? Hey, what's the panic? I've been racing out of work at the drop of a hat. Something you want to tell me? What are you on about? I'm not in the bin. It's not mine. Well, whose is it? She wouldn't be so stupid. 
Well, Rosie up the duff, that's all we need. Oh, no, you don't think it's John Stapes, do you? Well, she said nothing happened. More likely to be that low-life Gary. I'm gonna go upstairs, drag it out of bed. Oh, honestly, Kevin, have you not learnt anything over the years? Start shouting the odds, you're only gonna get a backup. You didn't put a baby. It's the last thing this family needs. Well, I can't jump to conclusions. We don't even know if it's positive. She said this morning she felt rough. I just assumed she was hung over. Have you seen the lad rags file? Dunno. Oh, it's one of them cardboard binder foldy kind of things. It's got a shoe doodled on the front. Call off the search. It's got a shoe doodled on the front. How professional. I still managed to find it though, didn't I? Well, you have to see what's her name later. Your solicitor. Amanda, yes I am, that's right. The sooner we get this contract sorted out, the better. Do you right, get it signed and sealed. Settle up with Tom, get Maria paid off, and hopefully she'll take the money and run. Preferably all the way to Australia. Um, sorry to bother you, but have you got a minute? For you, if there's any time. Oh, um, it's just that when Maria came back after her break, I thought, well, we all thought really that she'd, you know, moved on. And? She hasn't. She's getting all wound up again. What's she been saying now? Oh, it's all totally crazy stuff, like last time. I had hoped you'd put all that behind us. And you've been so good to her, so patient. Yeah, and look how she repays him. Yeah, it's all right, Carol. I just thought if I at least warned you, you might be able to stop it getting out of hand. Thanks, Fitz, you did the right thing. Remember, my door's always open. Anything you think we should know, don't hesitate. Right, thanks. Great. It's all we need, isn't it? Miss Havisham gobbing off all over the place. You better nip this in the bud, Tony. I think we should just leave her to it. Give her enough rope. What do you want? Just to talk to you. I was just having the most amazing dream. Adam Glassie was about to kiss me. Why are you feeling so rough? Dad, you don't expect me to lie and say I had a dodgy pie. You know, I was out on the lash last night. Just listen, love. Right, there's no need to worry. We're not angry with you. Speak for yourself. Your dad found this in the bin. So? So it's not mine, so we thought it must be yours. Uh, yeah, well, you thought wrong. It's got nothing to do with me. Must be. Uh, hello, you do have two daughters. Oh, typical. Just blame it all on Rosie. Well, you might as well tell the truth, love. It'll come out in the end. How many times? It's not mine. It must be sweet little Sophie's. Now, how hilarious is that? Oh, I could fancy that Carol Vorderman, mate. Legs up to here. Uh, she's got that weird sort of V-neck smile going on. It puts me in my little Oh, well, listen to these two. You think you're a pair of sex gods? I bet she won't have a go on either of you. I love my little love. What can I do for you? Do you know where David Platt's gone? Why would I? To the cop shop, reporting our Gary. Oh, he actually went through with it, then. You knew about it. Why the hell didn't you say something? Oh, I would I? It means no. That's a total liar. Our Gary were with me that night, so we all know that Platt's spoofing. That'd be right. The police have probably banged him up instead, making him go through his back catalogue. Eh? Oh, the police have known him for years. Mental things that he's got up to. <laughs> It'll all be written down in the big black book. Doesn't take long, does it? For the gossip mongers to start spreading the poison. Hi, Emily. Come in. Oh, thank you, Kurt. I, I don't want to intrude, but you seemed terribly upset this morning, and I just wanted to check that you were all right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, Emily. It's very kind of you there. Listen, sis, I should get off. I'm supposed to be at the dentist. I think I'm out of a wisdom too, coming through. Yeah, well, like I told you before, I don't need babysitting. Well. I'm happy to, to stay for a while, if you don't mind. No. See you then. Uh, bye. bye. See ya. Um, shall, I, shall I make a cup of tea? Oh, sorry, Emily, it should be me asking you that. Don't worry, 
I like to keep myself busy. It, it happened to me, you know. I lost my husband. I'm sorry. Well, it was so unfair. He was such a lovely man. He, he didn't deserve to have his life snatched away like that. I thought I'd never get over it, but you do. Somehow, you find a way to live your life. Yeah, but how can I carry on like normal when I know that he was murdered? I can't move on, not until I get justice for him. What happened? It was so cruel and so unfair that your poor mind is still struggling to make sense of it. Now, I know everyone thinks that this is a grief talking, I know that. But it's not. Honestly, I know that Tony Gordon is responsible for Liam's death. I know it deep in here. Fantastic. Do you know what, Emily? I think I will have that cup of tea. Of course. That's the way you want it. I've got my iPod, my Sarnies. I'll sit out here until you open the door. Stop looking at me like that, Missy. Sympathy only makes me feel worse. Listen, Dad, I've come here to tell you that you're off the hook. How do you mean? Well, David saw Gary and Len outside the builder's yard the night it was done over, and he's gone to the police. Everyone will say he's making it up to protect me. I'll ring him, shall I? I'll tell him not to bother. No, I appreciate it, honestly. It's just everything's getting on top of me, you know. I mean, the money problems were bad enough, now this... It's not fair and Gail! She's really worried about you. I'm sorry, I should have uh, texted or something. Oh, right. Well, don't apologise to me. Come back to the house, tell her to her face. I can't. Not yet. Well, you're only going to make yourself worse dusting around here on your own. Look, I know I'm a nightmare when I'm like this. I'm doing you all a favour staying away. But we're your family. She's rock solid, Gail. A lot tougher than she looks. Come home, Dad, please. It's not fair on you, is it, all this? I'm the one who's supposed to be the parent, not you. You should be off thinking about, I don't know, shoes or whatever. Look, Dad, I'm just as stubborn as you. If you're staying here, then I'm staying at all. I'll get me coat. What can I do for you? Come in. So? There's no point lying anymore. I know what you've done. What would that be? You've murdered Jed Stone. I don't even know if you take sugar. Uh. Maria! 
Maria? Are you up there? That's better. No prying eyes. Everyone knows I'm here, you know. If anything happens to me... What could possibly happen? I know that you killed Jed Stone. And I told Fizz and Kirk and Emily... Okay. Okay, what? If that's what you want to believe, fine. I killed him. Not that anybody cares, really. He was an interfering so-and-so. So you're admitting it? You see this? That's how I did it. Very inventive. Even if I do say so myself. Not a very dignified death, but... Uh, beggars can't be choosers. I strangled him. And when he gasped his last breath, I shoved him in the knicker hamper. Sean and Kelly were jumping about on top of it at one point. But if you can't go a bit mad, any worse Christmas do win, can you? So there they were, flailing around, dancing to the birdie song or something. And poor old Jed. Barely cold. And we're back to the streets in half an hour. We should have bought them shoes now. Do you reckon it'll be time for me to go back later? Kelly, you couldn't even walk in there. No, I could do a perfectly good tot up. Maria's gone missing. What? Oh, I bet I know where she is. What's happened? He's admitted it. He's actually admitted it. What were you doing sneaking around the factory? He just told me that he killed Jed Stone. He just stood there and told me. Oh, for goodness sake, Maria, get a grip. He said what? Oh, what? do try and calm yourself. Emily, he told me how he did it and everything. What's going on? Will somebody please take her home? Oh, yeah, that's right. Get her home. Everyone wants to take the mad woman away, don't they? My heart bleeds for you, Maria. It really does. You're a sick young lady. You shut up, you! Go home, Maria. Jason, will you help her? Get off me! Just go away, Jason! Fez, keep an eye on her, would you? Yes. Yeah. I brought you a sandwich in case you couldn't get away. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Corned beef with a big blob of piccadilly. It's a week since it's sell by, but beggars can't be choosers. So, me laddos drop you right in it and all. No, I wouldn't say that. I would. He's not daft, is he? Got his little harem racing around after him. You running this place. Me and Deirdre bringing up his son. Well, he's a good mate. Um, I don't mind helping out. Bet you haven't heard a dicky bird from him, have you? I thought not. He'll be out living the high life with his southern Jesse mates. Look, you might not trust him, but I do. And I know he's going to come back as soon as he can. I wouldn't hold my breath. He changes his mind more often than I change me drawers, that one. We've got no choice now. We'll have to do something. I've done your brews. Cheers, Kelly Love. Stick him down there, will you? And I got your last at Jammy Dodges. Cheers. She's uh, totally off a bunch, you know, that Maria. Totally do, all it's what. Sorry, do you mind? Shut the door on your way out, will you? Hmm? You're going to have to take out an injunction or a restraining order or submit, Tony. You've got a street full of witnesses. They'll all speak up for you. The poor girl needs a doctor. Specifically the ones in the white coats. <laughs> Sorry, that was in bad taste. But my nerves are shot. Well, no wonder. You're right, though. She does need help. I know. But I don't want to be the one that has to instigate all that kind of stuff. She's not my responsibility. Yeah, but can we really stand by and do nothing? She might be dangerous. Don't worry, Carla. I think I can handle her. I wonder if Gail's going to be waiting by the front door with a rolling pin. That girl from off the road rides a moped. 
Why don't you go and borrow a crash helmet? <laughs> well, I hope they've come for you. At least we'll all sleep a lot safer in our beds knowing you're off the streets. Shut it, Gary. Your name Gary Windas? What if it is? From number six, Coronation Street. I'd like to talk to you down at the station. Oh, recent burglary. Oh, look, you're arresting me or what? Just want to ask you a few questions, that's all. Might as well get it over with. Not like I've got out to hide, is it? Gary Windows, bang to rights, put it there. Where have you been? Sorry, I've not been in touch, have I? You know. oh, I thought something terrible had happened. You should have texted. It doesn't mean you were safe. Sorry, I was staying with a mate. And this mate? Didn't he have a shower? <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, you tell me that Tony's murdered Leah, and then you say he was out to get you, and now he's done away with Jed. Can you see why we might be struggling with all this? Well, things like this do happen, you know, Fizz. The prisons are full of murderers. All right, all right. Well, let's just say, for argument's sake, that he did tell you he'd murdered Jed. He did, I well, told you he no did. no way you can ever prove it. It's his word against yours. Someone must know something about him. I need to find out more. Yeah, shall I get off? Uh, my advice to you would be to leave well alone. I just... I don't feel safe with him around. I'm terrified what he's going to do next. Oh, Maria, you're fine. You've got all your friends around you. Yeah, well, you can't be here 24-7, can you? In fact, Jason, can you fit me some new locks, please? Um, if, if it makes you feel better... Are you hungry? I was going to make uh, a bit of lunch. OK, you're freaking me out now. No shouting, no door slamming. Yeah, she's using reverse psychology. She's good at it, she's got years of practice. Well, I don't shout or carry on, cos you might do another runner. And that would solve nothing, would it? I'm sorry. This is what I do. I bottle everything up. Let me problems crush the life out of me. He's got fingers in the ears, la 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 syndrome. You don't have to cope on your own, you know. Don't know why you just couldn't talk to me. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> Should have warned you I come we shed loads of baggage. Well, um, you're not the only one, are you? Seems inevitable when you get to our age. Bet you're having second thoughts now, aren't you? About me living here. Don't be down. Once I get you trained up, you'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, it's not all bad. I love our freaky little family. Yeah, too, right? Adam's family have got no one else, have they? There you go, safe as houses, front and back. Oh, thanks, Jace. What do I owe you? I'll put your money away, it's a freebie. Oh, no, come on, at least let me give you a tenner. Buy yourself a few pints. No, I'll nip up and get me back. Well, at least she seems a bit calmer now. Yeah. Well, grief is a, a terrible thing. It can play the cruelest tricks on the mind. She's so obsessed with Tony. I don't think she knows how to stop. It's as if it gives her a reason to live. You know... Mr. Gordon reminds me of Mike Baldwin. If you needed him, he'd be there. But when it came to business, different rules applied. Mm hmm. Tony's the same. He's proper decent, but I bet it'd be a total nightmare if you crossed him. Oh, well, when poor old Jed had his stroke, Mr. Gordon certainly took advantage of the situation. How do you mean? He'd been trying to evict him, so. While Jed was in hospital, Mr Gordon had the house boarded up. He never did. Uh, hang on a minute. I think you've got hold of the wrong end of the stick. Oh, Jed told me himself. No, you see, I was the one who boarded the house, me and Tyrone. And Tony told me the old fellow had moved out. Yeah, definitely. I'm afraid that is simply not true. Do you know now you come to mention it? It was a bit weird, cos all his stuff was still there and there was milk in the fridge as well. You! Tony's bully boy! No, I am not. 
And to think I thought you were a friend. Get out! Maria, you've got it all wrong. What else have you done for me? What other dirty work has he had you doing? Maria, I've told you it's now to do with me. Get out! Right, remember, don't get all macho and shouty, because that's going to achieve nothing. I'm not a total idiot, you know. Hey, uh, did I leave one of my red gloves here this morning? I think I've lost it. What's that? Oh, sit down, love. Have we got some toast in there? No, we want to speak to you first. <clears throat> Your dad was sorting out the bins this morning. And he found something. <sighs> I'm sorry. Well, it, it is yours. We are talking about the same thing here, aren't we? A pregnancy testing kit. Oh, Sophie. Mum, I don't suppose you've done a food shop, have you? Oh, my God. Who's been a naughty little girl, then? Hey, you can stop that right now! Right, you know the question I'm going to ask you next, don't you? What was the result? Sophie! It was positive. I could slap her. Yeah, and that's really gonna help, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's not just her life she's destroyed, is it? Don't say that. We'll just have to cope. We've only just got back on our feet. How could she be so stupid? Okay, what's done is done. Just ease up, will you? She must be terrified. Yeah, well, I'm gonna find out who the dad is. Even if I've got to drag it out of her. Then I'm gonna go down no, there and I... I'm not. You're gonna calm down. <sighs> Kevin, why don't you go for a walk and clear your head? And I'll find out what's what. <laughs> what was I thinking of being so horrible to Jason? Oh, he knows you've not been yourself lately. Yeah, but I, I need to stop lashing out at people that don't deserve it. I've got to get a grip. If you see him, Emily, will you tell him I'm sorry? I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you. Now, remember, I'm only two doors down, so any time you want to talk... Thank you. Well, see ya. <sighs> right. Listen, I've run you a bath. I've washed some of them oils in. It smells like a Turkish boudoir in there. <laughs> You'd know all about that, would you? Go and have a proper long relaxez-vous. Get Matilda all chilled out. Who? The baby. Until we know what you're getting, I've decided to call it It Matilda. <laughs> Tilly for short. Well, if it's a boy, he's going to come out very confused. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fizz. I know that I've been a total nightmare laying into Jason like that. Oh, don't worry, he'll have forgotten all about it by now. <laughs> Memory of a goldfish. I'm so tired. It was right, you know what you said. I can't carry on like this. I know. No one could ask for a better friend than you, you know. I do not know what I'd have done without you. Oh, stop it! You'll have me filling up. Now go, please, and get in that bath before it goes cold. <sighs> the test you did. It was definitely positive. <clears throat> you better get you booked in. For what? See a doctor. No, not yet, Mum. I can't. See how far gone you are. No, Mum, no! We're... I made it up. 
You're saying you're not. I've never even been with a lad. I, I, I don't get it. Why would you pull a stunt like that? That's like something you did when Rosie went missing, sending us that postcard, making out you were at risk. Sorry. Why would you be so cruel to us again? Are you so starved of attention that you have to keep making up terrible lies? Said I was sorry. What person in their right mind would want that sort of attention? It's horrible making us think the worst of you. Mum, you know how it is in this family. Everything's always about Rosa. Mum, you don't hate me, do you? Mum, please tell me you don't hate me. <sighs> Come on, Sophie. Don't worry. Look, I know you gave us a nasty turn, but... <sighs> I'd rather that than be a flipping granny at my age. <sighs> Come here. Oh, love. Angry, angry. Better? Mm. Yeah, I think I'll just get an early night. Why don't I cook you a bit of tea first? Oh, yeah, to be honest, I just need my bed. Oh, I can stay over if you like. No, I'm fine, honestly. I'm just going to watch a bit of telly and then fall asleep. Mm. Go on, go. Come on, do something fun. All right, then. <sighs> right. Come here. Sweet dreams, Mitty. Mm. You too, sweet dreams. All yeah. right, thanks. See you later. See you later. Well, did she give you a name? Well? She made it all up. Hey? She made it all up to get our attention. You know, she must have thought this all through. She'd gone to the chemist, she'd brought the kit. She put herself through all that embarrassment just so we'd sit up and take notice of her. What, she feels that desperate? What does that say about us? We must be the worst parents in the world. Did I hear right? The little freak told us a pack of lies. Oh, for goodness sake, Rosie, have some <laughs> compassion. <gasps> Pretending it to be pregnant. I mean, how mental is that? <sighs> I'd get a look at if I was you. If you weren't so flaming demanding, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Any chance of another cuppa? Only I'm dehydrating here. Certainly, Blanche, once I've served this customer. Oh, get a wiggle on. I can feel my kidneys shriveling up. You don't want that on your conscience, do you? Oh, hello. Boosting Peter's profits again. I'm helping out. This is the first sit-down I've had today. Well, I'm sure Peter will appreciate your support. It's the least I can do. After all, we're family, aren't we? <laughs> Actually, uh, Peter asked me to give you a message. Uh, he wanted me to say a sincere thank you for all the extra hours you've been putting in. Oh, that's all right. It's no trouble. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine, fine, yeah. In fact, I'm going down there tomorrow. Help him resolve one or two business matters. All right, good. Flopsy bunny tail here might believe you, but I don't. Yeah, well, it's bad news, I'm afraid. Peter's fallen off the wagon. I knew it. Goodness knows what I'll find when I get there, but someone's got to do something. Right. Yeah, well, 
In the meantime, I want to keep this to ourselves. We don't want the nosy Parkers having something to gossip about. Oh, you know me. No time for gossip. Yeah, well, I'll be on my way then. Oh, Leanne, uh, Peter said there'll be a nice little bonus on its way to you when he gets back. All right, cheers. I mean, I know she's your mate and everything, but she's barking. Bless her. Hey, just because you say bless her don't mean you can slag her off. I know, I was just saying. I wish you much better time. I think she's really turned a corner. Honestly, your face. Sorry. God, God gave me, there's nothing I can do about it. I meant the expression. No reason to feel embarrassed. Only a matter of time before everybody finds out Gary Windus has been arrested. Uh, excuse me, he was not arrested. He was helping the police with their inquiries. Helping the police. That is a good public spirited thing to do. What's up? I've been mugged. Oh, <gasps> mate, you okay? That took all my money. I had the doubt subs on me and everything. Well, what a coincidence. You've got a pocket full of other people's money and what happens? Hey, go easy, mate. He's in a bad way. He's putting it on. It's pathetic. Hey, you, keep your neb out. Let's sit down. Yeah, come on, sit down. You couldn't give me a prank, could you? Steady my nerves. <laughs> get involved. No, we didn't. <laughs> Oi! Tony Gordon! You listen, love. You say one more word to him and it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You got that. Listen, mate. Alcohol has many wonderful qualities, but you've been mugged. You should go and get checked out. This is better than any medicine. I don't know how you can stand there drinking after what you told me today. Maria, love, look at yourself. Come on, you should be at home. No, not again. First he kills Liam. Now Jed Stone. You say any more and I'm going to call the police. Bet you're in on this and all, aren't no, you? The police she needs is a doctor. Yeah, I've got the medical centre number on me. Uh, shall I take her through to the police? He's confessed to me! He's told me everything! All right, Maria. You're so desperate to have your say. Go on. What exactly did I say in my big, gory confession? Tony, you can't just let her carry on. on with it. Well... Well, it happened in the factory. At Christmas. And? Maria, don't. Please. And he strangled Jed Stone! So... I killed a defenceless old man in cold blood with my bare hands. No. No, not with your bare hands. You said you used a negligee. Right. OK, so... I strangled an old man with a negligee, of all things, in my place of work. Yeah. And then you stuffed his poor body in a knicker -umper. Oh, please. Maria, you poor, poor girl. <laughs> Maria! No! Murderer! I've gone too far this time! Could somebody just please take her home? Come on. Oh, Maria's just got to find a way of proving it, doesn't she? Over on ITV4 next, going beyond the call of duty, it's real vice cops. While on ITV2, the search is on to find the next American Idol. Here on ITV1, it's not all the fun of the fair in Trial and Retribution.